Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for lying to my girlfriend in a video game about deception? My girlfriend 25 and I, 27, have been together for about 8 months. Before our relationship, she spent nearly 2 years in a really awful relationship with an absolute jerk. Not only did he cheat on her the entire time, but he also constantly gaslit her, making her feel like everything was her fault, no matter what. I can't even begin to describe just how terrible this guy was to her. We met about six months after she finally got out of that relationship. From the very beginning, she made it clear to me that any form of dishonesty is totally unacceptable to her, even white lies. I bring this up because it's pretty relevant to what I'm about to share. Yesterday, I was playing Among Us with a group of friends when she came over. She watched me play for a bit, and then I offered her a chance to play since she had gained a little with my group before. She got really into it and seemed to enjoy it a lot. So I pulled out my laptop, created a Steam account for her, and bought her the game so we could play together. For those who don't know, Among Us is a social deduction game where players try to figure out who the imposters are before the imposters manage to kill everyone. The imposters generally have to be good at lying to win. I'm sure you can see where this is going. In the second game, I ended up being an imposter, and I killed someone just as another player walked into the room. They reported the body. Now it was just me, the guy who saw me and my girlfriend left. He accused me of being the imposter, and I accused him. My girlfriend was the deciding vote. She didn't know what to do, so I said, I swear I'm not lying. She voted for the other guy, and I won the game. My girlfriend got up and said she had to leave. I tried texting her a few times but she ignored me. This morning, I finally heard from her when she sent me a text saying she feels like she can no longer trust me. She said it wasn't just that I lied to her in the game, but that it really bothered her that she couldn't tell I was lying, even though we were in the same room and she could see my face. She understands that lying is part of the game, but she wanted to believe that if I swore something was true, she could believe it no matter what. Now she feels like she can't. She said she needs time to think about what this means for our relationship. At this point, I got very defensive and told her I couldn't believe she was making such a big deal out of a stupid game. I haven't heard back from her since. AITA? I don't think I am, but I'm starting to regret ever buying her the game. Update. Wow, it's been a long time since I posted that original thread. I actually forgot about it until just a few days ago, so I thought I'd give an update. First off, my girlfriend and I are still together. We've even moved in together. When I posted my original AITA thread, the consensus seemed to be that I wasn't the asshole. But looking back, I think even when I was writing it, I kind of realized that I was being an asshole in this situation. I remember reading some of the replies about how my girlfriend needs to get over herself, and I just kept getting angrier and angrier at those comments. It was at that point, when I found myself wanting to defend her, that I realized, yeah, I was kind of the asshole. I shouldn't have looked her in the eyes and sworn I wasn't lying, and I definitely shouldn't have gotten so defensive and minimized her feelings by saying it was, just a game. I waited a day or two before I was going to send her an apology, but she actually contacted me first to apologize for her behavior. I told her she had nothing to apologize for, that I completely understood, and that I was sorry for how I reacted. Then there was a lot of both of us apologizing and trying to take the blame. After what happened, she went to stay at her sister's place. At first she wouldn't really explain what happened, just that I lied to her face. But after a day or so she finally explained the situation. Her sister actually defended me saying it would be really stupid to end what seemed like a good relationship over this. That surprised me since I didn't think she liked me. After that talk with her sister, my girlfriend called me. We met up and talked, and it became clear that she still has a lot of issues from her ex, that she needs to work through, and that maybe we got together a bit too soon. But we both really like each other and didn't want to end the relationship, so we decided to stay together and work things out. She started seeing a therapist, and it's done wonders for her. I don't think I fully understood how much damage her ex did to her until after all of this. Sometimes I wish I could find that guy alone in a dark alley. I'm so glad our relationship survived that. She makes me happier than anyone else I've ever met, and I can't imagine my life without her. And hey, last month, we actually played Among Us again. It was her idea since I hadn't played it at all since the incident. We had a lot of fun together. Although I insisted we play in different rooms, and I definitely avoided saying, I swear, which she found kind of cute. So I was thinking about this incident a few days ago and logged into this account again. There were quite a few replies since the last time I checked. Apparently, this story got posted on TikTok a year or so ago, and some people have problems with how it turned out. 
I figured I would make an update to respond to some of the concerns. And yes, I made the mistake of finding the video and reading the comments, never read the comments. First off, I really can't believe I have to say this, but my girlfriend did not make up a story about me abusing her to her sister. She said I lied to her face, which is technically the truth. I have no idea why some people are trying to make this worse than it actually is. Second, my girlfriend is not abusive. She didn't make her problems my problems. She didn't blame me for her issues. I care about her problems because I care about her. I do not live in fear of setting her off. Third, my girlfriend did not freak out as soon as she found out I lied to her in a game. She knew the game was all about lying. She had no problem with me lying in the game. She only had a triggering event when I said, I swear I'm not lying, while looking her in the eyes. That's what freaked her out. Also what I did was technically cheating in the game, because I used eye contact to lie more effectively, which is outside the scope of the game. Fourth, yes, I did ask if I was the asshole, because I genuinely wanted to know. And then I had the nerve to disagree when some people said I was in the clear. I took a good look at the people who said that and realized I didn't want to be like them. The reaction my post has garnered hasn't changed my mind. If working things out with communication makes me a pussy, then I'm perfectly fine with that. A lot of people are really hung up on, all he did was lie in a game about lying, he did nothing wrong, he gaslit himself into thinking he was wrong, what a pussy. Besides the fact that as I mentioned what I did was outside the scope of the game, what I did wrong had nothing to do with the actual lying in the game. The problem was what I said right after she tried to explain to me why she reacted the way she did. I immediately dismissed it as, it's not a big deal. Just because something isn't a big deal to me doesn't mean it shouldn't be a big deal to her. I assure you, I have my own quirks that are a big deal to me, which might not be a big deal to someone else and she has always respected those. I should have done the same without getting defensive. She had an emotional reaction to a triggering event, and she did deserve my apology for trying to dismiss it. It's called empathy, people. I know that's a difficult thing for some, but I assure you, people tend to like you more when you use it. I swear, some of you have the emotional maturity of a sack of bricks. As for the update. I'm sure this will disappoint many, but we are still together, and quite happily so. In fact, my relationship with her is the best I've ever had. She is the most amazing person I know. As cliche as it sounds, she's my best friend. I'm pretty convinced I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Therapy has done wonders for her, and she hasn't had a triggering event in quite a while. We've stopped playing social deduction games, but that's only because she's gotten scarily good at them. No marriage or kids yet, but we've talked enough to know that's what we both want. So to all the people criticizing me for not immediately dumping her, I'm quite happy with my life. How many of you can say the same? Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.